I was at the edge of Jacksonville, Florida, and was at a McDonald's and couldn't find anywhere to sleep, man. I walked around for like four hours from eight in the eight at night to like midnight and couldn't find anywhere to sleep, dude. And that just sounds unreasonable, but this place was just suburban nightmare for, for our kind of people. And um, I go to, um, so I meet this guy at a McDonald's and he says, and he looks like a bum, he looks like a, a bum. But I said, hey man, you know, where, where is there to sleep around here? And he's like, well, three blocks from here is like a wooded area, a, a wooded area where um, a bunch of us, he said, a bunch of us stay. Now that's already a red, a red flag, dude. I ain't staying nowhere where a shitload of, where, the, where it's normal to have shitloads of anonymous bums, the hobos staying, bums. And uh, anyway, when it came time and I had no choice, I said, okay, I'll go check this spot out. It was, what it was, was it was a full city block that was completely unmaintained by the city. And it had, um, uh, it was dense brush and forest. And he said, I got a spot in there and you can come stay with me. First off, I ain't staying with you. You're a total stranger to me, man. I ain't waking up with my crap getting stolen or my pants undone and something happening. So you just leave all that out. <laughs> but I went, I went to get to this just three blocks away was a full ghetto, dude. Full nightmare, dude. There was, it, 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 of all races, there was Asians, blacks, and whites. Uh, there were hookers. It was, This place was just like New York in the, it, you know, that porn street in New York in the, in the 70s, like taxi driver style. <laughs> and so I was already like, God damn it. So I get, and then you have no choice. I had to stay in this forest, but uh, he gave me a map. He drew me a quick little map of how to get to him because it had trails cut out. And you find that a lot. So I, I went through there and it was funny because there was one bum over here and I woke him up with a flashlight and he's like, what, what? And I was like, you know, Bob or whatever his name was, Bob. And he's like, no man, Bob's over there. And I was like, sorry to bother you. You know, have a, have a graceful night, sir. <laughs> then I go to Bob and he's like, I cut out a little space for you here. And I was like, no, nah, thanks, man. I appreciate you inviting me to your fucking wondrous forest. But, and, but the problem was, was that just like every 30 feet, there was a different group of hobos. There were some gutter punks, uh, squatter type kids, three of them, three or four of them, uh, just 30 feet away. But, and I like those people. I actually have a lot in common with them. I would have stayed with them, but who knows how desperate they are, dude. They could rip off all your shit since you're new and you, they know you're new. And then uh, the same, and then just like 40 feet up ahead was um, a real old school hobo camp. And they even had a little fire going, I think mostly for light, but they could have been cooking something on there. And you could hear them. They were drunk and having a party over there. So this place was a war zone and there's bodies everywhere sleeping in different bushes. So this is a fucking like, this is like a shanty town camp, dude. But anyway, I just, I just said, thanks, Bob. And I went over um, and I cut out my own little, I dug through the most densest, most dangerous shit you could. And I mean, I crawled and dragged my gear so that no one could get to me unless they went the route I went. So I crawled into this fucking hole and it was, and there was a dude 20 feet away. And he's like, is that you, Mark? And I'm like, no, uh, it's a different guy. <laughs> and, and, I, and he was like, oh, oh, have a good night. You know, and it's very nice, cordial. But um, I slept in that little spot. And it was, you know, that was the most densely populated hobo camp besides Skid Row that I ever slept in. And, you know, that's how you do it, dude. You make you make sure you pick a spot no one can get to you. And, uh... <laughs>